family, and I'm happy to be graduating with all of you this year. Congratulations for finishing 10 years of school. We finally made it. every one of us. We all have learned and we've grown a lot over the years. We have made great friends over the times we've shared together, whether it was on our old wooden playground getting splinters and running from the bees, <coughs> or like my being in Mr. Singh's seventh grade detention for various reasons, from popping water bottles, talking too much, or being too distracted. <coughs> we have all had days we are proud of and days we'd like to forget. I know most of you remember me in sixth grade near the portables when Vince and I would beg to differ. Or the many verbal disagreements with Sora. Maybe you're like me, you got your glasses broken a few times. At the end of all the days, good and bad, we still found a way to love each other. not been here since kindergarten but we have gotten to know each other and made some great memories regardless at volleyball practice and after school programs or even watching movies at indoor recess i know some of y'all made a few few memories sneaking out to albion mall running around in the hallways playing cards or even cops and robbers outside we've shared some great times and i'm gonna miss sharing ding dongs and pixie sticks with all of you Dong. Even gonna miss hearing all of you talk about anime bright and early in the morning. No matter what high school we all go to, we will always remember Beaumont. Over the years, we've all learned a lot at Beaumont, and one thing we all learned is that it's more important to show your work than getting the right answer. It took me an entire 10 years to finally accept this. I know fact. we all have heard this at least once in our lives. Boma not only gave us memories, it taught us many other things, like how to stay eco-friendly, adding and subtracting, all the way to many lessons on Pythagoras' theorem. One thing I learned is that getting hurt in gym class is very easy. Talia's broken finger, Charmin's sprayed ankle, or my nosebleeds after getting hit in the face by a dodgeball evidence that school is not meant to be experienced, but survive. Even if we don't hang around like one big friend group, we're all still friends. No matter what happens in the next few years of your life, you should always remember who you are and where you come from. You should always stay positive, like Drake said. Yeah. You gotta come to my side and see how we live. Yeah. I cannot see heaven being much better than this. Yeah. Count your blessings, not your problems. When you start thinking negatively, there's no positive Beaumont outcome. Beaumont is a great school, which has prepared us for high school. We learned and we grew so much from our first day in kindergarten. September 4th, 2010, to our last official day of middle school, June 29th, 2020. I would like to thank all my teachers for all the great lessons you have taught me. We're all going to high school next year, and I want to wish all of you good luck. No matter how new and hard high school gets, keep pushing. And always remember that one motto Miss Deer always says. Good, better, best, never let it rest till good is better and better is best. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you this is a difficult time for all of us. As we sat in isolation, we drew up this creation, a virtual graduation. Although it is difficult to gather in the same place, it was impossible to leave Beaumont without a trace. All of us here have lost so much, yet it is important that we keep in touch. As humans, that is how we cope. Expressing in some way gives us hope. Connection grows a fire of dedication. Expressing and talking gives us motivation. This whole creation, it was made from that motivation. We may all be at home, yet together we connect through this poem. Class of 2020, I can't believe we are here to celebrate new beginnings together, yet apart. 
These last few months have been a difficult time for all of us. Yet, despite all those disruptions, we have gathered here to celebrate all that we have accomplished. We have come a long way from choosing to watch TV and play video games over homework to still choosing to watch TV and play video games over homework. But enough with that. Bowman Heights has truly shaped us into being great students. We have come out of middle school with great skills and lessons learned. So for that, I would like to thank all of the teachers and all of the staff for all the support. And before I forget, thank you to those of you who have let us throw pies in their faces. That is something I can assure you teachers, we will never forget. I would also like to thank the grade eight class of 2020. This moment would not be the same without all of you present. And although September will be a new journey for us all, right now we are here, we are connected, and we will forever remain Beaumont Bears at heart. We've done so much. We've raised money for cancer in memory of Terry Fox. We've run food drives for the less fortunate. We've participated in sports team. We've expressed ourselves in art club. And we've found a new love for science in science competitions. But that's just a raindrop compared to the ocean of things that we've all done and are going to accomplish even once we leave. I'm sure a lot of you are nervous or straight out terrified of what's come. But never fear, because Betty Reese once said, if you think you are too small to be effective, you have never been in bed with mosquito. Although I'm sure that those of us that went to Albion Hills last year know a thing or two about mosquitoes. But the point is, although these creatures are tiny, they remain impactful because of their persistence and endurance. Like any person who journeys in life, we're at our best when we are not alone, accompanying us all the way picking us up when we stumble, holding our hands when we have fallen, and standing beside us in moments of grace have been our parents, letting us know that we are bound to them in love. Despite the fact that we will be going to different schools, making different friends, and starting different lives, we will always be connected by our memories. Before we finish, we would like to say three things. Thank you to our parents for all their love and support. To the students of Beaumont, Good luck and remember to connect with one another. As we leap forth in the world of change, we wish you goodbye. And to the staff, we only have one thing to say, thank you. To our most esteemed administrators and teachers, dear parents, beloved graduates, I bid you a pleasant day. It is an honor to deliver this valedictory speech on behalf of my graduating class. They say time passes, feelings change, and people leave. But I believe that the memories you have built on our learning journey here at Beaumont we will take with us for years to come. I definitely have learned many important lessons in these years. To appreciate others, to set goals for ourselves, and most importantly, to remember that we cannot stand on our own. Even though we solve problems by ourselves and answer our tests individually, then go through our lives as individuals, none of us can deny how important the people around us are. They've played a vital role in helping us be where we are now. So thank you, Beaumont Heights, for bringing out the best in us and always greeting us with warmth, acceptance, and dedication. Thank you to my fellow graduates for being there when we needed a shoulder to cry on and for making the most of our last years together. Lastly, thank you to all of our beautiful parents for teaching us the value of perseverance, honesty, and courage. We do not need an award or medal just to prove that we have something special within us. All of us are blessed with talents that are worth celebrating, and that is what this day is about. Even though we may not be having a traditional graduation, but by giving this speech, I truly hope that we're all unified by this experience and cherish the moments built together. Remember during the drama class, we had started a play called The Merchant of Venice. We had randomly got picked to do a part that we didn't even know existed, and we literally became clowns. That same day, we had a supply for science, and everyone went a little crazy, just as Mr. Lippa stepped into class. We could literally hear a pin drop. Yeah, we're totally a bunch of normal grade 8s. Capturing the first and third place at the Nike Science Competition is another proud accomplishment we have attained as an entire class. I bet I'll never forget Albin Hills, Shazam, and recesses we have had with each other where we built relationships, shared memories, and had fun moments with joyous laughter. Man, I already miss everything. I'm sure you all miss it as well.
Graduation is one of the important milestones in a person's life, and after graduation, you're introduced to a completely new world. You spread your wings wide and fly out of your nest to venture out in the world. When we were younger, we would have never thought that we would be able to survive the absolute roller coaster we call middle school and be here today listening to this speech in these circumstances. We have definitely come a long way, but it's time for us to move on to a more challenging threshold, high school. The lessons we have learned will surely help us through our next step, but let me remind you, all of those poems, formulas, maps, Shakespeare plays are not the only things that will help us through life. We need to retain the things we have learned other than academics. Gaining the courage to stand in front of the entire class when you can barely work up the nerve to speak during a lesson. Having the dedication to complete all tasks on time. Being a good friend. All goes beyond just textbooks. Life skills are something we not only need in high school, but even afterwards. So celebrate what you have accomplished, what you as a person have become, and all of the growth and learning you have achieved. My advice to you is to look forward with an eye towards how you can be an inspiration for others coming after you. Now give yourself a pat on your back, relax, and take a minute to recall your own journey at Beaumont. God bless you all. Congratulations class of 2020.